It's been a long time coming, but finally today, we're going to put the Jeep together. And here it is. It might look slightly different than the last thing we saw it because this isn't the paint you saw last time. I didn't like the way it came out. It looked kind of terrible, I think, and also horrible. So we bought some more paint. Uh, this is a different kind of paint. This is lacquer. I really like the way it goes on. It looks, it looks real nice in my opinion. But uh, we, we ran out of paint. We, we ran out of paint before we, we had enough to do all the coats that I wanted to do. Not my fault. Uh, well, no, I bought all that the store had, but it wasn't enough. So uh, we're going to ignore that, put it together, and call it done, and order paint and secretly finish painting it later. Yes. Sound like a plan? Okay, so here it is. I got all the parts over there. Uh, I got all the, I got the, some of the 3D printed parts over here. A couple of the parts uh, are not painted and ready to go on, nor are some of the details, because we're going to have to finish all of the painting. We use this. Lacquer paint. Uh, it's, a, it's a Chrysler color, and uh, Jeep is owned by Chrysler, Fiat Chrysler, whatever, so I thought, it, I thought it worked. Also, they had two cans of that and only one can of any other bright red. So, uh, yeah, that's the real reason why I picked it. Okay, okay, let's put it together. Yes, finally! First thing I'm going to put on are these tail lights. Oh, guys, I printed these in PLA. This is sort of a translucent with the grid. You can kind of see the grid, the square grid shape infill, which is sort of like patterns you see in lights. Uh, and then this is just a metallic-y silver looking. And I screw on through the back. Kind of cool. I, I took forever to find tail like pictures of taillights that I thought were original CJ2 taillights. Because every picture I saw, the taillights were different. And sometimes the taillights were different on the left and right side of the same Jeep. What do you, what do you pick? <laughs> so anyways, Powers. Powers, remember Powers? He's got yeah. the Jeep. He sent me a picture and he said, okay, make these ones. So that's what I made. I uh, modeled them up in Fusion. Thank you, Powers. Thank you, Powers. I think I have to put this on first, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay. You know, one of the video, one of the pictures I saw, I mean, of one of the Jeeps mm -hmm. was like a nice, it looked really nice, like it was a high quality restoration kind of thing, supposedly. Yeah. And it only had a left tail light. What happened to the right one? I don't know. Huh. <laughs> And proportionately, these are actually pretty oversized. They're a lot bigger than the than the normal taillights uh -huh. in relation to the back end. Uh, but I guess that's okay. It's supposed to be caricaturized. So it's gonna look adorable. You hear that, Jeep people? Your vehicles are adorable. Is that an insult? Remember my burly uncle who once gave you a pocket knife as a present, yes. and you said it looked cute. What? Well, and it he was freaked out. The size of this finger. They're like, oh, it's cute. And he's like, cute? It's a knife. It was tiny. It was like a, it was like a folding knife. It was, it was cute. Tiny. Yeah. Tail lights. Yay. Tail lights are on. Now what's That's next? Set. I don't know. There's no instructions with this. Um, are you going to put the body parts together? We probably have to put this on the body next. Okay, cover your ears. I don't know if these were the correct screws for this. They go in, and you know, doing a coat of paint later will allow us to paint these screws red so it'll hide them a little better. Oh, yeah. So that'll be nice. There are some screws that go underneath. All right. More light. Blinding light. Ah. These holes were much easier to find before I painted everything black. Okay, and that holds that together. As you can see, we didn't bother painting anything that wasn't going to be seen. Yeah, who's going to look at that? Right. Back end. Oop, or no, there are, there are two more screws down here I forgot about. We were, so when we do more red paint on the body, you said we would do it while it's assembled like this? Hold on. Stripping screw. Yes? If we were to do the back end though, are you going to just mask the taillights? Gonna take them off. How are you gonna put it back on then? They unscrew from the inside. Yeah, and paint is really thin right here. Oh well. You can sort of see the primer through it. There's the yeah. back. 
You know, the normal one had like more stamping here that said wheelies on it. Mm -hmm. I was not going to do that with the bead roller. Uh, okay, what next? Rear axle, might as well. Alright. Okay, so the rear axle is kind of like a, a long tube. And the parts just go on one end. And it has to kind of go through with the motors and through a thing and then the other motor and out the side and the other wheel thing. Whoops. And then this little tiny thing goes on the end. So it's it's a weird it's a weird setup and the axle itself is just structure, it's just everything free wheels on it. Here's the actual guts. Huh. Yeah. I'm realizing now the bucket probably isn't the best idea for this. It looks like the motors have to go in a certain way. Uh oh, that's not plugged into something. I'll have to figure that out. Figure that out later. Okay, so we got hubcap, wheel, drive hub. Yeah. Goes on. This motor is through the hole. There's a motor gearbox in this hub. That hub drives this hub, which drives the wheel. Ah. So it goes, has to go as like a unit. And then the axle slides through the middle, but only that far. Oh, the other plug goes on this motor. Okay. So that goes through. These motors, by the way, totally shot. Oh. But I know where to get faster ones. Okay. Because why on earth would you have a rideable car that you can't make faster? I know, seriously. Okay, then backwards of the other one. Hub into motor. Ah, oh, jeez. Throwing the wheels around here. Wheel lined up. Hubcap lined up. And then this push ring thing. Tiny little thing. It's pushed on there. It doesn't work. <laughs> I didn't have it pushed on very far. Okay, there. Using the wrong tool to secure this. A little more. Oh, as long tight. as it works. Yep, okay. And throw it away, because, you know. It's Harbor Freight. Screw it. <laughs> okay, since I'm here, might as well first this. Okay, now if I somehow swap these around and it goes backwards when it's supposed to go forwards, I'm going to switch the wires. Okay. Or switch the wires around like this. Mm -hmm. DC power, you can do that. Okay, need two screws for that. These are not the right bits. Man, our daughter really wants this car done. Yep, she'll get it soon. Yep. Soon. Those are not the correct screws. Well. They sure work though. What is this? Is this something dead? <gasps> Gross! Ew! Okay, now I want to get these, this wiring, up to the front. Right. Uh, but this plug is too big to fit and I didn't cut any access holes because idiot. <laughs> so, I have a plan. I may have said this before, Klein tools, uh -huh. good electrical tools. You would not believe how many wire strippers and crimpers, or not, uh, cutters and crimpers, these things, how many different ones we had to go through at work just to find one that could cut a wire. I mean, it's copper wire. It shouldn't be that hard. You can do it with scissors, good scissors, and yet crimpers from like four or five different places couldn't do that. You sound a little angry. I am angry. <laughs> I know, I heard of you talking about this this one brand, Klein, right? Yeah, I complained about the garbage wire clippers we had, and then the other garbage wire clippers we had to replace the garbage ones we had, <laughs> and then the next garbage ones we had, and all the Harbor Freight garbage ones, and it's just very, very satisfying when you get a tool like this one that just works. It just works. It just clip, clip, cuts the wire. Right. So there you go. Paul recommends Klein. Yeah, and they're not paying me to say that. Nope. I'm, it's just that the other ones angered me so much that I, I'm compelled by rage to say Klein's are good uh, wire cutters. Yeah, why isn't... Oh, I'm putting it on wrong. That's why it's not going in. There was a cover for this, too. Seriously, I painted, I know I painted the thing black. Speaking of garbage wire cutters, Harbor Freight. That's not one of the terrible ones, but it's not a good one. Here, there it is. There it is. I know I painted it. There, huh, there's a little bit of red poking through. We didn't paint that very well. Well, we can mask it and paint it, so. Yeah. 
That's a gross looking hole. Well, you can buy grommets. So I'll buy a grommet and stick in there. Mm -hmm. And that'll see now it'll rub against the rubber nice. tape just temporarily until I get a half inch grommet to go in there. That pop was my knuckle. Oh, that was your knuckle? Fun fact, that was my hand going pop. That did not feel great. You know, sometimes cracking your knuckles feels good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not every time. Well, it doesn't feel good anymore. Well, now we're getting old and it feels like we're breaking our, our bones. <laughs> We are getting old. I just had my physical the other day, mm -hmm. and the doctor said, you don't look your age, like in a good way. And I'm thinking like, am I old enough that I should be aging right now? Like, should I have like baldness and like arthritis and crap that I can look younger than my age? I don't think so. Wait, so she thought you were, she looked younger Yeah, than she you? thought I looked younger than my age. I'm 30. Last time I checked, 30 year olds aren't covered in wrinkles and like sunspots yeah. and, and crap like that. So I, I don't know how to take that. Boom. Yay. Plugs in. And I'll be able to put the battery in here. And next, uh, the seat since it's up here, I suppose. Because sure. like everywhere we went, when you mentioned your age, everybody's reaction was, no. Because they thought you looked older. <laughs> I think it's the beard and the mustache. I remember being at uh, one of the grad schools and the people thought I was like 30 and you were like 20 or 19 or something. 19. And I was robbing the cradle because I was a creep. <laughs> like, no, she's older than me. And you were like mid-20s. Boom. Seats. I got dirt on the paint. Seat. So what do you want to do for seat belts? Oh, uh, well these ones are so sun faded oh, they just you can just out. rip them off. Huh. So, probably gonna clean the seat up, and then, I don't know, I could maybe strips of leather, that would be classy, right? Ooh. You know, whenever our daughter talks about the car, and I tell her that her daddy is working on this, she always talks about the buckle all the time. Yeah, why don't the seat belts work? What if I crash? <laughs> there's, there's no airbag, what are you worried about? <laughs> I kind of need to assemble the steering column. I see. I took this apart so long ago, I can't remember how it goes back. You can do it. Okay, that's in. Our red floor. That's Water. in. No. Um, this, this way. And like that, okay. Right. Yeah, this piece. Also dusty. Okay, now this is the most sucky part of the whole assembly. Because I... The hole snaps really good into this thin spot. Yeah, but I cut, lengthened, and sleeved it. So this part's thicker. So I get this thick part through, then snap the thin part into the slot that I cut in the plastic body. And that sucks to do. I've actually only done this like once successfully. You're about to do it one more time successfully. Or die trying. To do it? You sound much less confident that time. <laughs> you you can do it? Okay. It's not in right, but that's fine. This is less ideal. Okay. Long bolt. Okay, so that's holding up. Ugh. Goofy looking bracket. That is the secret to smooth steering. I can remember which way it went on. This way, pretty sure. Screw goes up. There's another screw over there that broke off because I'm using cheap screws that I found in this house when I moved in. What? Why are you using those screws? Because they were there. Okay, now grill. The coolest part. And with the 3D printed parts. Wow, you can, you, you, you'll be able to really see the battery inside it now. Yeah. I think our daughter will love it. Because if she doesn't well, too bad. We're not going to make changes. Then I'm going to turn into a go-kart for me. You can do that? Wow. Well, so this is what I got for a hinge. It is a piano hinge. I've already pre-drilled the holes. It looked to me like the real ones have a piano hinge as well. Why are they called piano hinges? Oh, is it because they put Because the piano top hinges up and has a long hinge just yeah. like this. Are we going to spray paint that red too? Maybe. Are you going to have anything on the front to keep the hood shut? Like uh, gravity. Hood. The oh, hole was really? drilled uh, because I screwed it all together. Uh-huh. But I've since welded the holes shut in the hood that I drilled. Oh, I see. 
for that purpose. The real Jeep has hold down, like hold down clip things, uh -huh. which I was thinking about 3D printing and then, I don't know, just didn't. There are two places it's going to come in handy. The first one's going to be as a pad for the hood to sit on in the front. Mm -hmm. And also I'm going to attach the hood or try to attach the hood to the uh, hinge with this because I don't want screws going through the hood. Uh, there's really no room for anything like that. Just gonna lay it down here. I'm gonna go get my scissors. I'm gonna leave this tape, the, the, the plastic sheet over the top that says 3M because it's red. Mm -hmm. It blends in. And I don't want the hood to stick down when I go to stick it down. But for this part... This is mm, double sided tape, right? Yep. Okay. This is too thick. Oh. I'm gonna have to cut it. Maybe maybe thick is the wrong word. Too wide? Yes, wide. Arr! Oh. Sure sticks good. Okay, screw it. Short pieces. Yeah. I'm gonna build it out of short pieces. Yep, yeah. it'll still work. There's some other 3M tape. I noticed 3M stuff in general is pretty good. Uh, it tends to be a little on the pricier side, mm -hmm. but it's, I mean, you get what you pay for. You have an uncle who used to work there. I did, the guy who gave me my awesome compressor. That thingy with boxes of sandpaper. Hmm, it's really hard to get that there off. Yeah, I'm getting it. We should spray paint the hinges. Yeah, they do kind of stick out. Mm -hmm. Now the tape has some thickness to it, so it's going to pad the hood, but it's also going to kind of lift it up mm -hmm. off of the surface, which will prevent it from scratching the hood against this. That'd be nice. And then the piece of tape along the front also lifts the hood part up off of the grill. So it's not going to be scratching here. So it won't be scratching along the edges. There's a, there's a little more of a gap there now, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's not going to scrape through. Yeah. Look at that. Ta-da, I'm going to have to trim some of this Ooh. tape. But it looks much more jeepy. Yes. Ah, the dash looks so empty. I was thinking of stickers. Whoa, there's whoa. dust. Whoa, whoa. <coughs> <laughs> now this comes off and there's another push ring inside, but I believe I broke it getting it off. So we'll have to come up with another plan there. And there, steering. So roomy. Yeah, I totally designed this for a bigger battery. If you look at the like current, like nowadays modern and power wheels, they make the engine compartment tiny. Okay, my camera got sick of listening to me talk and protested by shutting off. But here it is, done. We didn't realize until it was too late. One thing you didn't see was this bumper. I just made it out of, you know, angle and plate and it's welded together. I know that's complicated, but I think you can imagine me making that, right? Uh, it's just attached, it's attached to the steering, the same thing as the steering is, which is separate from the body. Uh, and, and it kind of has some flex to it. You might be saying, that's, that's not very sturdy. Well, that's kind of the idea. If when this hits my shin, for one, it's rounded. And I also cut all the corners, rounded everything off. Uh, and two, I want there to be some, some flex, some give in the whole front end. Uh, so, so yeah, bumper. So there you have it. I might splice in some videos of the kid test driving it. But there, in its current state, the Jeep is complete. That feels really weird to say. Yeah, I know I, I, I can't show that so, super clearly with me saying, oh wait, I, I have sticks, I have, a, I have broom technology. Ah, to prove that it is painted and works, even though I just probably showed you videos of it. Vroom, vroom, vroom. So if you wanna see this thing taken apart and uh, being more painted. I'm probably gonna do that this weekend on a live stream. So look forward to that. Gotta do some more live streaming now. And uh, yeah, even though this looks nice, it, it isn't done. It, it doesn't look nice. We're gonna add some stickers. It's it's like the next day. See, wearing a different shirt. We're gonna add some we're gonna add some more stickers. We're gonna add their events over here that we're gonna add stickers. We're gonna make some dash stickers. It's gonna say willies on the hood and stickers. They're those little side fender thingies that we can't paint because we don't have paint. But but there's one of them on the bench. Uh, those those can't be done until after the paint. The final paint, I mean. And the, the windshield, as for not having a windshield, I'm not gonna make a windshield. If you look at the original ones, they're like, ang they're 90 degree angles and that'll be steel and right in front of my kid's face. So if she hits anything, her face is gonna hit the windshield. 
so I'm not going to put on a windshield. End of uh, pre-rant. Also, there's no rear bumper like the front bumper, so they don't seem to have much of a rear bumper, so I'm not going to worry about that. So there, thanks for watching this incredibly long project. Hopefully none of them ever take this long again, though they probably will. Okay.